Hello everyone, welcome back to Touch the Fire Twice. I'm Joshua and I'm here today to do an in-depth sniff comparison review of the Homeworks by Slacken & Co. Very Trifle candle. This is their 18 ounce four wick candle in the traditional glass vessel with the silver chrome lids. Now this scent first came out in 2018, the original spring slash summer Homeworks launch. Um, it had sort of the bakery pinstripe uh, artwork on it. There was the coconut cake, berry trifle, and a couple of others in that collection. Pretty popular. I think most people said across the board, you know, raves, if, if this is the type of candle that someone likes, this was, you know, one that they loved. And then I think it may have come back one other time in different packaging, um, but just sort of a one and done probably on QVC. And then really hasn't seen the light of day much since then until recently it launched on homeworks.shop, uh, the website to purchase direct from the Homeworks by Second Go brand. And it sold out and then it came back and then it sold out again. I would imagine due to the popularity that if they can, they will certainly put it in order to produce more because it sold out so quickly uh, before any of the others uh, from this latest drop on the site, um, and rightly so. This really could be one of the core year-round scents for Slack and & Co's Homeworks line um, for many reasons, uh, which I will get into. And then I have two scents to compare it to. It's not a, a direct you know, dupe of anything, but it's really just a few of the handful of berry scents that I own and have owned before to just kind of compare it to. Uh, what's different, what's similar. So I did purchase two of them. This one today that I'm sniffing, as you can see with that really very lightly pink wax, barely even looks pink on camera, but it's the slightest hint of a light light cotton candy colored pink. Um, I have not burned, but I did burn the other one a couple of times. Um, had, have had wonderful performance, which you'll see in a, in a minute here. Um, but we'll talk about this, talk through the comparisons and see where it takes us. So a trifle essentially is usually a layered dessert um, of, in this case, some fruits, usually macerated with a little sugar perhaps, either pound cake or angel food cake, or sometimes I suppose a shortbread or like a, a lady finger or, or some sort of spongy, cakey bakery item, uh, as well as layers of some sort of cream. So sometimes people just throw a Cool Whip in there, um, or it can be just a nice whipped cream, maybe flavored with a little bit of lemon zest or vanilla or alcohol or kind of a million things, a million different ways to do trifles. But that's sort of your traditional trifle, berries and cream for all intents and purposes, right? Um, again, really do love the, the direction on here. Uh, it's really kind of an overly saturated dessert and photo um, that wraps around. And you can see just like the juices of the, the blueberries seeping into what looks like here to be kind of like an angel food cake. Um, just so juicy and bright, but then almost a little bit of a pinkish hue all around it. It just, you talk about a juicy label, this screams juicy and you want to just bite into it. Really, really pretty, like effortlessly, delicately messy, if that makes sense, where it's thrown together, but somehow it ends up being perfect looking. Um, that's what the label looks like. Um, and again, that very lightly pink wax with your four wicks there. Now the notes on this that they say we're going after, we've got raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, vanilla pound cake, and Grand Marnier sauce. So you can see that listed there. Now the one thing they don't call out in here, um, I imagine when they say Grand Marnier sauce, that is a sauce that is probably that the berries are in or layered with the berries. Um, I don't believe they're just re they're referencing the cream that's in here. Um, so that's just one of the notes they you know ran out of space and they couldn't put that on there. Um, but obviously cream is a major part of a trifle and of of the scent of this candle. So sniffing this. It's, uh, again, no surprise, look up any candle, you know, reviewer who reviews this and almost everyone's going to say that it's fantastic. It's one of one of the best homeworks, you know, bakery gourmands for a lot of folks. Certainly one of the best, in my opinion, um, berry scents that I've smelled in wax. Berries are very difficult to do accurately because um, two things. One, I think it's what people imagine a berry to smell like is not often what a true berry smells like meaning people are most used to the artificial flavor of strawberry soda or, you know, blueberry ice cream or, or blue raspberry blow pops or all the different flavorings that, you know, uh, any candy that you can imagine comes in berry flavors. And so most of the time those are either artificial or partially artificial or natural flavoring, which is not necessarily as natural as you might think it sounds based on the name. And so the idea of what a raspberry smells like or tastes like is, is very different than reality. And so I think it's hard to put it into wax because it either will come off as artificial or, you know, like candy, which to half people are like, oh, this is what it should smell like. And the other half people are like, the, the berries that I put in my yogurt don't 
smell like Jolly Ranchers, right? So it's really difficult, I think, to get it right for a couple of reasons there in wax. Um, because also if you smell a tub of blueberries, there's a little bit of a freshness there, a little bit of like a bite to it and almost a bit of maybe floral in the background, but not a super strong scent. Flavor, yes. And obviously flavor is, you know, 60% scent, um, but with without with something that is heavily reliant on flavor, it's kind of difficult to get the scent of that, if that makes any sense, which in my opinion, berries are. Unless you slice into the strawberry, you know, a bowl of raspberries does have a scent, but it's not something that most people think of as the scent. You think of more the taste of raspberries and we're not tasting wax. So uh, that's my little <laughs> spiel on the side of that. Um, but in sniffing this, They've, they've got it as right as I think you can in wax. Uh, and I'd actually, I'd love to hear from Harry, his opinions or, or his um, perspectives on berry scents, because I imagine unless you're going into um, sort of a non-authentic uh, berry, so think of like a woodland berry that has, you know, a, some saffron in it and, and maybe some oud and, and a little bit of musk, like obviously that's not expected to be like a berry that you pop in your mouth. So you can make that. But I'm curious what, what his thoughts are on sort of the berry that is the edible berry that people are expecting, obviously in dessert items like this, how they're able to really bring that to life in, in fragrance form. So with this, as I finally sniff it, so top of mind, the berries are very fresh and happily you really do get a, a nice blend of the raspberry, strawberry, blackberry, blueberry. The blackberry is a little bit, a little bit tangier, darker, richer, those strawberries being kind of sweet, a little bit floral, the blueberries being really strong and bright, and a little bit of that acidic pop uh, that you get from not quite sourness, but almost sourness, acidity from maybe your raspberries while still having that berry, you know, flavor. So you get those on the top. And you definitely get a cream in this. And to me, the cream is fairly straightforward. It's not overwhelming. It's not a thick, gloppy buttercream. It really is probably a heavy cream that is whipped. I wouldn't even say with sugar crystals in it, maybe a little tiny hint of vanilla, um, but it's not, a sh these aren't really super sugary berries or a really sweet whipped cream. It really is more so just the cream as, you know, a fat to give a vehicle for the flavors of the berry to really balance the, the acidity or the tartness um, and to carry the flavor since fat is a, uh, a, a carrier of flavor. And of course the pound cake, the bakery, I suppose it is, it's in there, but I'd call this more a creamy fruit scent versus a true bakery, probably gourmand, but not bakery. Um, you don't specifically call out, it's very clear that this is more berries and cream with a little bit of that vanilla pound cake in there, which is not a super strong flavor. It's there, but it's it's it, it's in the background, you know, third to the berries and the cream. But they're really, the, the top layer of the berries are fresh, vibrant, clean, and very well balanced and, and not artificial the way that, that we're used to in wax. And then the Grand Marnier, so for those who aren't familiar with Grand Marnier, so it is an orange liqueur uh, from France, and it is a blend of bitter orange, um, sweeteners, you know, sugar, as well as a base of cognac. So cognac is going to typically be, it's a form of wine um, that is aged and brings, it's almost like, think of a combination of wine and whiskey or bourbon as far as the, the depth of the flavors. So it's going to be a lot of like dried fruits and raisins and, you know, baking spices and oak from the barrels it's aged in and dates and just lots of flavors, a lot of depth throw in a ton of basically triple sec, like what, you, what you'd expect to be in a margarita, just like a bitter orange um, liqueur with the cognac blended together and that's your Grand Marnier. So it can be used in margaritas interchangeably with your triple secs and your curacaos, uh, but it's gonna add a depth to it because it is the base of cognac mixed with the bitter orange. And that is at play in here really nicely. It brings, again, not overwhelming, not boozy, but it brings a depth to this that is, again, deeper than just a lemon zest thrown on top or just the berries and cream and pound cake. So it's, it is a sophisticated trifle. And there's just enough of that. It's like, instead of having to throw in a random floral or random, almost like a musk or something in here, the Grand Marnier adds that depth of the base notes um, that you are going to, you know, not be able to call it out specifically by name necessarily, but it does add an additional layer to you know the top middle bottom notes of this scent so love the inclusion of that 
And burning, it does, I'd say, really great performance. Um, I burned this a handful of times. It's The throw in this is interesting to me where this is one of those candles that is unique in the sense that the strength of the scent itself, the blend of fragrance oils in this, is not particularly strong for me. I would say between a four to a six. However, the throw, which is different than the strength, the, or the sillage, as it's referred to um, in, in French and in you know fragrance and, and like body fragrance and things, the sillage, how far kind of the the length <laughs> that it that it throws is really wonderful. So it's a light to mid strength. So when you sniff it, it's not going to knock you over, but the traveling of it, the sillage is pretty significant in, you know, my large open space um, on my main level with between the kitchen and the dining room and, and the great room, you do smell it throughout, but it's not, you know, it's like at volume four or five, not volume eight or nine, but it does, you can hear it you know, you can smell it all throughout. So it does waft throughout. It's not something you have to be on top of to smell, which is really nice and works. You don't necessarily want something like this to be cloying and knock you over the head. So I think they really got it right when it comes to both the strength of the fragrance um, and its ability to carry throughout a space um, and great performance as well. But before we get too long in here, I do want to compare it to two other candles, um, a Bath & Bidrex candle that was a post Slack and Era and then actually a Slack & Co um, candle that are both berries focused, again, not at all uh, duplicates, but just if you're familiar with those, I you know I like to always compare. So first of all, do this oldie here. This was Slacken & Co. Berries and Cream. Uh, this was poured in mid-2010. The notes on this, blackberry, raspberry, and pear blended with rich cream and caramel. I, d I definitely feel like you get the, the cream and caramel. It's not a whipped cream, it is like a heavy cream. And like the burnt sugar in there. It's nice, a great dessert, but when you think of berries and cream, it's not like the, the cream saver, really light, sweet, f fruity, airy. This is a bit of a heavier berries and cream. Nice, um, but quite different than the berry trifle. And then finally, Strawberry Picnic. So this was in, this was the first year post Slacken at Bath & Body Works. Um, the Lakeside Collection, which I've referenced a few times um, in other videos, really great collection. Um, this was pretty good as far as strawberry scents go. There was a wild strawberry that was in the Fresh Picked Collection in 2012 that leaned a little bit artificial for me. This Strawberry Picnic, which may have come back actually is a, a couple of times as like the Easter candle with different names over the years. But the notes on this one were a blend of red ripe strawberries, wild raspberries, and sweet buttercream frosting. And where it is similar is, I would say the butter, this says buttercream, but it's more of a whipped cream to me. They're similar in the play between berries and a cream note, which again, these all have berries and cream because that's what you're gonna get into a, in, a, in, in most berry candles. But this leans a little bit waxy, a little bit more artificial. You don't get much with the raspberries. It's really just like, okay, you know it's supposed to be a strawberry and it's okay and it's creamy, um, but it doesn't go much deeper than that. Not, not you know, you'd expect much more from it. Again, comparing really, and one of the reasons why I do this, aside from the fact that I like just comparing and you know seeing the difference, and if someone does happen to know, remember this one, and I can say, that's how this is similar, this is how it's different, then it might be somewhat helpful to someone hopefully out there. But also why I like doing this is it really shows the difference in the art and craftsmanship of different candle brands, and certainly Homeworks, that it really shows the elevation between, okay, this was a, an okay Bath & Body Works strawberry and cream candle, and you compare it to this, it's almost like a reset to your nose because all of a sudden this at first sniff was, okay, it's good, I get this and this, and then you smell this, come back to this, and it really almost opens up more of what's in here and almost makes you appreciate it more because you get the multitude of different kinds of berries in this with that, mm, that rich, slightly sweet uh, depth of the Grand Marnier that I believe the berries are tossed in, layered with your, I would almost think more of an angel food cake because it doesn't lean towards a buttery cake for me at all, uh, and your unsweetened straight whipped cream just to play with the berries that maybe have a little bit of sugar in them. Uh, that is very trifle. Uh, if you can find it, definitely recommend it. If you love this, let me know. Uh, if there's anything else that you found, any other sort of authentic berries and, and other wax, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And until next time, take care.